Hi everyone and welcome to our channel Lisa Horncrafts. I'm going to be doing a video today using the amazing blooming coneflower stems embossing folder and layering stencils and dies and I'm just going to show you how to use these and how really cool they are to make a super project and that will only be using some kind of um, earthy tones of ink pads I think on this occasion. I've got some fabulous samples which are created using brighter colours which I will show you now. So as you can see here they look stunning on a bright cardstock and using brighter colour inks and they're great when you emboss them and you stencil them and you cut them out and you can see all that detail on the inside there how wonderful they are. So that's one and again you don't have to always use them in the way I've used them but look at this one as well just with a couple of colours of inks they look like they're bursting from the page. And again, they've been embossed and they have been stenciled, but they haven't been cut out on that occasion. The next one is gorgeous as well. So changing the colors up a little bit. So this one is using pinks as well. So again, super pretty. And again, it's been embossed, but not cut out. But how stunning is that? And then we can use it on craft card too. So look as well, just pretty, pretty colors, a little bit of white ink as well. And that is super effective. So they give you some gorgeous cards, very different looks, just by using a few simple colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the mat over because my camera will start searching for all of those lines and it will start zooming in and out and we don't really want that. So I thought what I would do, because this is one of the trickiest things to do, is show you what they look like on white card when they are embossed. So I've taken one here and I've already embossed it, but I haven't opened the folder yet, but I just want you to see how they come out just by being on white card. So you could easily do white on white cards with these. And I'll show you that just straight away. And um, my cameras aren't professional cameras. These are just regular home cameras. And you can see here how much detail you can get just from that embossing. So if you wanna keep it really simple, you can do that. But I thought today what we do is use the stencils and you can see how they look when we use it as a stencil rather than anything else. So I'll pop all these bits to one side, piece of cardstock, and I'm gonna pop this in my Ultimate and I always pop it in the top right hand corner. So if anything does move, we haven't got a problem. We can always reposition it back into that corner. But if you wish, you can take some low tack masking tape and you can tape it down just to be on the safe side. So our layering stencils are always, well, not always, they often come with different amounts in each of the packs. So uh, when you get your set home, whatever you choose, whichever set you like the look of, you'll have a different number of stencils. And we do that because we only create what we think, what we feel that project needs. You can see where my finger is now. If I move my finger, let me move that to the light. Can you see there's a number eight there? So that means it's the last stencil and there are eight stencils in this set. And what you can do, you can do one of two things. You can either turn them around and place them over your pegs when you use them, or you can turn your ultimate around, which I often do, like so. And I pop my stencils to one side and I pick one up at a time and I can work in the same direction as our artwork is on our packaging. So the lines are down the side here and then you can do exactly the same and line yours up. And then it's always a great point of reference should you need to use this for lining anything up or choosing the right colors for what you're doing. So I'm going to start with stencil number one and we'll take that and we'll pop that straight over the pegs like so and we'll grab some ink. Now you can't see much here but I can tell you down here there are some open areas which need coloring and if I do look at my artwork I can tell it's the kind of the stems and I'm going to push this over just a touch to take us away from that lighting just in that corner. 
So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to use the painted eggshell and I'm going to use one of my chunky stencil brushes. And these are fabulous because they have that gorgeous chamfered end, which means they're not going to give you any harsh lines with your colouring. I'll move some of these away for now and I'll pop them to one side and we'll come back to those. And I will use our mat and we will take our lid off and then we'll put the lid in here. So everything's nice and secure. So I'm gonna come in with this color and I'm gonna come down and do all of our stems. And I take it from one side all the way to the bottom. And I'm not gonna worry about going off the bottom because we'll trim this out afterwards anyway. And this is like a quick lesson in how I do my stenciling. And we'll come down here, all the way down. And then on the last, last couple here and don't panic and think she's doing blue stems why would you do blue stems i won't leave them blue i will add some more color in just a moment when i've got the base layer down so that's pretty much covered all of those areas and i'll pop that away and i will now bring in let's leave that there for now that's fine our eucalyptus leaves now this is quite a bluey green but it's quite nice and i'll change out our brush now what i tend to do with heavy colors i take my ink tap off in the lid and then i go over the top and what this will do this will give me a more earthy tone than just using a green so all the way down, do it on all of them. And then we'll probably also bring in some of the margarita. So there we go. And then we'll bring in a fresh brush to use our margarita. And again, you can tap off in the lid and then you can use that over the top and I just go down one side and it will give the appearance of a beautiful shading. Look at the difference already. So it gives you that nice vibrant green without being too yellowy. And when I lift this off, you will see how cool it looks. And just on the side of these ones and just here. So that's layer one done. And they're great looking stems already. So let's pop that to one side and we'll bring in number two. Now this means when I use the margarita, it will be a completely different green to what it would have been if I just used this on its own for the stems. So by mixing the colors, you can get some very, very cool effects. So stencil number two, and then we'll do down here. And don't get too hung up on having to get the ink perfect or get the stenciling perfect. It really doesn't matter too much with these. I'll bring that down like so over here. And I'll keep going for all of the flowers. There we go, starting to come together already. And then we'll come in with number three. So what I'm gonna do this time is take a bigger stencil brush. Now I'm actually gonna use one of our bijou brushes and our bijou brushes are cool. You push down and you release the great little brush. Now I'm gonna add some of that eucalyptus leaves. And we'll pop out, because this covers a lot of area, we can do this a lot faster. And we'll go all the way over the top, like so. And down here, and you can see it covers a greater area faster. So um, I think that's gonna look super cool. And we'll lift that one off. Yeah, it's looking great. They look like fireworks, don't they? 
And the next one we're going to use is the number four. And this is some of the little seed heads. So I will come back with that blue, which is the painted eggshell, and our blue brush. And we'll colour all of those in. And I'm not dabbing off this time because I want these quite heavy. And as you can see, again, the bigger brush covers a bigger area faster. But this isn't a race. So if you've only got small brushes, it really doesn't matter. Looking good already. And then we'll come in with the next stencil. We've got three or four different colors here. So what we'll do now is we'll change this up to our surface up. And I'm going to hang on to this brush and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dab off and I'm going to come in with the blue. This is going to be a much brighter blue. Next layer. And this is layer number six. Oh, where's my holes? There they are. So now what we can do is make a choice. Do we want to stick with this blue or do we want to go in with a different blue? Now I'm going to stick with this blue, but actually I've got quite a lot of ink on this previous stencil and I quite often are a bit cheeky and I pick up some of that ink and just use it and I'm, I use it so it's lighter. So it's the same color, but it's a lighter tone. Let's come back in with some more. So I take some more of that ink off of there, so I'm not wasting any ink. And if I find I haven't got enough, dab off, hold your brush at the end and be a lot lighter with how you apply it. And let the ink almost run out here. And then when it's really run out and you haven't got any more left on your stencils, you can't use any more, just hold that brush right at the end rather than close, right at the end, and it makes you give it a softer press so it doesn't give you a heavy feel. So look, they look like a different color already. And then we have the last one in terms of the colors. And I think what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna come back with that margarita. And we're gonna use that instead. So it's gonna give us a nice vibrant look. So change our brush out. Now this brush is smaller, so it would take a little longer, but that's absolutely fine. Look at that, super, super pretty. And then we have our seed heads. So we have these lovely little pods sit, that sit at the top and we'll pop those down. I'm gonna stick with the green, but change out our brush. And I will actually turn that over. Oops, just turn that over and take most of the ink off and then just pop those little seeds across the top. And there you go. So pretty, so, so pretty. Now the beauty of my stencils are, if you are unhappy with any of your layers, you can go back with any of your stencils and you can literally redo that layer. So you might want a heavier layer number one, you, you might want a darker layer somewhere, but so many ways to, to use them. So now that's done, all I'd say, pop your inks away, and now we can cut this out. So I'm gonna move my Ultimate out of the way. And we'll bring in our paper trimmer. Now this is a five by seven embossing folder, but I don't really want such a big card. So I trim off some of these leaves at the bottom and I keep it nice and tight to the edge. And actually, sometimes I come right in and chop off some of the artwork. And it looks so cool when you do this. So let's leave a little bit at the top for now. And then we'll come in at this side and we'll that as well. So already that looks way better, doesn't it? It looks very, very pretty. And then we'll take all of our pieces out of the way 
and then we'll bring in a piece of black card and all I tend to do is get myself a rough idea of where I like it bring your my trimmer in and I'll bring that along here so it's roughly where I want it to be and now I can look at that and say yeah that's not too bad at all and then I can pop it in again move my trimmer handle up and I can position my white card and then kind of eyeball where I think it might be needed oh now that's moved hang on let's line that back up and then I'll go I would say around there might be a little bit wide maybe but I can now I can trim that off on my own just the tiniest amount there we go so now that's going to look pretty cool and we could choose now if we wanted to emboss that we could take our embossing folder we could open our folder before we glue it down place this inside line up now remember to line because the bottom won't meet at the bottom because we chopped a piece off line find a point and line up I'm going to leave that like that and then I'm going to swivel that so it all lines up beautifully and then I will run that through my die cutting machine so you run that through your machine of choice and then let's have a look at this I hope it comes through okay on the camera oh yes look at that so now look at the detail it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so all you need to do now is pop that onto your card and add a sentiment and you're ready to go so let's do that so here's a five by seven card what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this onto here first and then decide if we need to trim the card down at all so I've got some of my glue which is a high tack glue and then we'll literally glue around the edge make sure you hit most of the high points rather than the low points or you your glue won't be in the right places or it won't reach the other piece of cardstock and then we'll pop this down on here and we'll get that lined up nicely there we go that's beautifully lined up very happy with that and I'm going to look at my card blank now just to make sure on this five by seven card that it fits and if I feel I need to trim any off I will I might trim a little bit off the bottom of the card but I don't think there's enough there to worry too much so we'll glue it down and see how I feel always make sure glue in the middle of your card as well because you don't want the the middle to lift and it looks like it's almost like got a bubble underneath so I tend to do it this way again we lined up nice and straight I think we are and then I've got this cute little sentiment just saying send in love your way and I think we'll pop that down here okay but I might use some foam pads I have a foam pad here let me cut that in half Place a piece here, piece here, take that backing off, and then we can lay that down where we think it might look the best, and I feel that would be really nice there. And there you go. So that is your super simple card using the wonderful blooming cone flower stems that's the embossing folder that we used today we also used the layering stencils so let's pop those like so so you can see how beautifully they work together and 
obviously we use some of our fabulous ink pads as well. So we use today our Cloud9 blending inks and we use the eucalyptus leaves, the margarita, surfs up and painted eggshell. So I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you on our next video.